So I'm working on a cargo trailer conversion that I'm, I'm well, doing. And I want the countertop for the, the kitchenette area or the galley to, to be stainless steel um, over some plywood. Now I picked up a sheet of 18 gauge stainless, um, which is surprisingly stout. And I need to put an edge on it um, or roll the edge in order to cover that countertop so I can just wipe stuff off real easily. Now, I called around to a few fabrication places to just throw a simple brake, or throw this in the brake, and either the brakes were too small or it just wasn't feasible in the time frame that I wanted it. So what I'm trying here is I've got a piece of square tube and I've clamped the heck out of it. Um, and with a standard dead blow mallet, I'm just slowly working my way up and down the square tube, uh, tapping it to get this edge to bend. Now this has been quite a bit of work to get it to this spot, um, so this far of the bend. It seems to be working pretty well, um, definitely not professional, but it seems to be working well. Um, one thing that I did do was I used a, I have a marking tool that has a hardened steel tip. Um, and what I did once I had clamped up the square tube, I scored a line exactly where I wanted the metal to break um, to form a weakness. Uh, I don't know if it made a difference or not, but I figured it couldn't hurt. And um, this is where I'm at so far. Uh, let's see what the final product look lo looks like. Um, like I said, it, this isn't gonna look pro, but I think it's gonna look pretty good, but we'll find out. And for good measure, this is what it looks like installed. And I think uh, that bending technique works pretty well. Now, one thing I want to note um, uh, when you're using this square tube, every piece is going to be a little bit different, but let's suppose you're bending over this edge. Um, you'll notice that there is a little bit of a curvature right there. The bend is actually going to start a little bit inside. It's not going to bend exactly at this edge. It's going to start bending at that, uh, the beginning of that radius. Now, I'm not a, a bending expert, but um, there's plenty of videos out there about how to calculate these bends and whatnot. But just be aware that uh, because this isn't a 90 degree, there is going to be some curvature to your bend and base all your measurements off the beginning of that curvature. Um, or if you're like me, don't worry about being overly precise.